hi guys um welcome back to my youtube channel so i decided to record this little tutorial for you guys um it's kind of like a burgundy ish look it's i know i always say it's nothing special but this is literally not like when you guys see how easy it was to like do the eyeshadow and everything then you'll understand what i'm saying um i don't really know what to title it like i feel like I want to say it's like a date night tutorial because it's very glowy and cute and simple and I feel like if I'm going on a date I kind of just want to look simple like like I'm wearing makeup but like I'm not really wearing makeup type of thing I don't know um but yeah anyway I hope you guys like it and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and just um tell me any sweet <laughs> any gosh i forgot how to talk any suggestions that you guys may have on like what you want me to record or any looks you want to see or anything else that you guys think i should include on my channel etc etc um so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this and yeah i'll see you guys next time hi guys um okay so today i want to play with this little um mac palette over here i think it's got like this this shade and this shade i think are really pretty so i kind of want to go in with those it's called burgundy times nine um the only problem is it doesn't really have a warm shade that i feel like i could use as a transition shade so i'm gonna use another palette for that and i'm just gonna go it so i'm just gonna take like a neutral warm shade and um I'm going to take um, this middle shade right here and I'm just going to put that into my crease. I'm not really blending it outwards too much because I don't want to extend my eye too much. I sort of just want to keep it really simple and like rounded. Yeah, that purple one and I'm just gonna pack it into the corner then I'm gonna blend that um, just with my finger I'm gonna take this um, this orangey shade right here and I'm just gonna and I'm just gonna put it all over my lid. I'm not trying to be too neat with this because I don't want the color, I don't want you to be able to tell like where the colors start and where they finish. I sort of just want it to all look like blend into each other. I'm going to take this um, golden shade right here and I'm gonna put it in the inner corner. simple fluffy brush and just blend the inner corner here and I took some of the neutral shade that I first went in with and I just put that into that inner corner as per usual I'm not gonna put eyeliner but I am just gonna go really close to my lash line with this shade over here I think it's like really pretty and sparkly looking um so i'm just gonna like smudge that in to my lash line and i do want this look to like kind of be grungy ish so i'm not trying to be too neat with that um just smudging that in there i'm gonna go with these lashes um it's lily lashes in the style of miami i think they're so pretty Um, now that these are on, I'm just gonna go put my base on and then I'll come back and do all the fun highlighting and contouring stuff. Okay. So um, I did my base, then I did highlight and contour. Now I'm just gonna set um, my under eye with the Sa Sacha, Sacha Buttercup Powder. And I know in my last video I said I don't like to bake, but I feel like with this one, if if I press it into the skin, it makes, I don't know, it just doesn't work as well as the Laura Mercier for me. 
Um, so, with this one, I bake with it, but not for long, because I don't know, it makes me look too yellow, and I don't like that. But I just like it because it sort of sets everything in place. See, that is how long I leave it on for because I don't want it to like leave a yellow cast on my face. So as soon as I do that, I wipe it off straight away. Can you see already how it like leaves me looking yellow? But we will fix it with bronzer. As always, Fenty bronzer in Mokamori. Keeping it more focused on the upper half of my face than the lower half. Contour my nose with a little bronzer as well. with this um, MAC blush in the shade Film Noir and I'm going to use it to define my cheeks just a little more. We're going to go in as per usual with some blush in But First Coffee Spare Minerals. And I'm gonna put some blush here as well. Just to bring some color back there. Then now I'm gonna go in with my Max Mahaha Max Fix Plus. Just to take away that um powdery look. Now for the under eyes. Um you guys know the drill. I'm going to take the same shades that I used at the top and I'm going to put those at the bottom. So I will start, I'm just, I'm going to start with this one and then I'll put this one. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to start with this one, then I'll put this one, then I'll put this one. Like sponge up the bottom a little more. Okay, and I'm gonna use mainly these two shades right here. This time I really am trying to go in lightly, guys. <laughs> To open up my eyes a little more. Like like so, so, so I'm gonna go in with just the same brown um, liquid lip that I usually do. In the middle of my lips, I'm gonna go in with this um, MAC liquid lip in the shade Lady Liga. It's like a really really light pink. So I try and mix it in with the brown as much as possible. Now I'm gonna go with um, my lip liner. I'm like the least 
neat person when it comes to lining my lips. I'm gonna go on with my um, Fenty Universal lip gloss. It's kind of finished. I'm just gonna scrape the bottom. Hopefully come out with something. Um, to finish it off with my NYX matte finishing spray. 